Well, you're recording it now. Uh. Hi. <laughs> All right. We're trying to practice Palo Duro. Palo Duro Canyon. Yes. Canyon. Palo Duro Canyon. Right. All right. So we're going to go to Palo Duro Canyon Palo Duro. this morning. To see what there is to see. It's supposed to be called the Grand Canyon of Texas. Now, I have seen the Grand Canyon, so we'll see. Yeah, well, I grew up around here, so it's kind of hot today, but we're going to go anyway. Right? Oh, it's hot. It's Texas. It's summer. And the wind's probably blowing. That's okay. It's always blowing. <laughs> we'll go see it, and we'll show you what we find. And have fun. As you can see by the title, we're going to Palador Canyon, and that's in Texas. Where about in Texas is that, hon? Uh, Palador Canyon is just south of Amarillo. Um, not too far. It's uh, uh, considered in Canyon, Texas, probably, which is the next city south of Amarillo. Uh, it is kind of surprising to find because you're driving along out in the country in the rolling plains and suddenly there is this huge canyon in front of you. It does surprise you, like the Grand Canyon. When I was going miles and miles and I thought, where is this canyon? And all of a sudden, boom, there it was. And it's the same idea. The ground drops down into these beautiful canyons. Now it's 30,000 acres, about 30 miles of road, so it's really large. And we're gonna enjoy it on our motorcycle because we love to ride. Yeah, it has a, a lot of uh, interesting topography because you're dropping down into a canyon. There's uh, layers of rock and uh, colors of, of dirt and clay. Uh, it's um, pretty interesting to look at. Uh, in times past, there has been a miniature railroad, but I understand it's no longer in operation. It's a state park, so uh, they're going to charge us a fee to get in, but that's okay. It's, uh, it's, it's well worth it. So this was a trail where the Indians, Apaches, and the settlers, and they used this canyon even to keep their cattle in. Uh, what was the famous Goodnight? Yeah, Charles Goodnight was a fellow back in the 1800s who uh, quote unquote discovered Paladera Canyon. Uh, of course, the Indians knew it was there already. Mm -hmm. But uh, when he found it, he thought it would be a, a, a really great place to keep his cattle. And so that's what he used it for and established his ranch right there. For many years, uh, his dugout was visible to the general public. I think they've got that closed off now. Uh, but there was, uh, uh, that, anyway, that was his homestead, was down in the canyon, now at the far end of it. So I love critters, and there's going to be a lot of to see, but they live there. There's going to be Amar uh, Amadilla. Amadillas, and there's going to be those lizards. For those of you who don't speak Sharon, <laughs> that's armadillo. <laughs> little horny toads, and horny toads, yeah. road runners, which yep. are really cool. Prairie dogs. Around. Prairie dogs will probably be there, yeah. And lots of bunnies with long ears, and some of them are called jack, jack rabbits. rabbits. Yeah. They're funny. They have yeah. more hind leg than <laughs> it looks that a bunny should have. <laughs> of course, we're going to get there at the crack of noon, so the, they're hiding. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, we may not. We may not see a lot. I think. It, yeah, we will see maybe some. We'll anyway, see. and there are some deer, antelope. You know, it's the plains. The antelope and the deer play. So we're going to just go and see what there is to see, and you can come along for the ride. Yeah, we'll have the GoPro going, um, so uh, we'll. You'll see, see you'll see what we see. So there we go. Well, let's go let's go ride. Let's go ride. Yes.
This photograph shows the layers of rock and soil and clay that we were talking about that makes Palavera Canyon so beautiful. This is an even better photograph of the layers that you can see in the walls of the canyon. There are many pullovers in the road and you can look down on the canyon as this picture shows the beauty of the reds and orange and all the different colors. I really enjoyed that. Overall, the, uh, this is really just a fun ride to go down through the Palavera Canyon. It's not technically challenging at all. Uh, there's not a lot of traffic. Uh, there's only a few areas where the asphalt has got some uh, mud or sand or something on it. And so it's really a very safe ride. Uh, good for groups. I can have a lot of fun with it. One thing I would say is watch the temperatures and uh, stay hydrated if you're going to be out there for any length of time. There's a lot of uh, trails and hikes that you can take uh, as picnic areas, so there's lots of room to stop. And of course, there's always the shops that is more than happy to uh, relieve you of any excess cash you may have on you. There is no gas down in the canyon, so make sure your tank's full before you head out. So, before you ride, remember that burn rating of three, which meant you burn in six minutes? Well, we didn't bring our sunscreens, and so we both did get sunburned. So please remember to bring your sunscreen and have a great ride. Duro? How do you say? Paladuro. Paladuro. Yeah. Hello, Duro. I say Paladuro. Well. <laughs> That's our training. Paladuro. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little different, right? <laughs> well, as long as you got Paladura, you're, you're good. You're saying right. All right. Amar uh, Amandilla. Amandillas. And there's going to be those lizards. For those of you who don't speak Sharon, <laughs> that's Armadillo. <laughs>